Don't No Really not good Even if she's not dead Even if you're angry Her mother deserves A place to think about her daughter No We're not done with that event Who is gonna say something that he shouldn't I don't think that 82, no, 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 no. Okay. the one who are controlling vote, are gonna be okay with what you are doing. Oh, now you're playing the chosen one card. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You think that you're good. Yes, let's call him like that now. You were with her? You've been drinking. No. You're not going to meetings anymore. Yeah, you're you were alcoholic. You were together. I'm out of your life. You never left mine. I don't want your apology. Okay, I want you to get out. Please get out, okay. mate. That she doesn't want it. No, I said, stop it. Yes, please listen to her. No, just talk to me. Just tell me when. Oh, it's pumpkin. They're coming. They're on to you, man. Black Mar was outside my apartment. Which address did you do him? If they got to my place, all of them. Oh, that was a good way, I think. I should fucking leave up. He can't. He's not gonna do it. You really don't care about friendship? No, tell them I'm not going on. Honey. You're gonna go. It's another step, you know, for her accepting the rules of this world. What secret? Her making that speech, it's just another step for her accepting the rules of this world and being involved into it. We are seeing you and I, like eggs, on outside, just inside them. Pineapples, perhaps. <laughs> You're gonna release her? Uh. Okay, run. I prefer you to run than to attack him. Oh! <laughs> You're gonna be out the seven. After doing that, they're gonna. I was wrong. You want me to just suck it up and do this for you? You have no idea what you're really asking. What? You have no idea what I've been through. You're gonna tell them? Every single word that I say up here, I'm reading from a script. And if you have sex before marriage, that's that's not immoral. That's human. What's immoral? Is the guy who shoved his dick in my face. You're saying it? I know, I know. I'm supposed to be this hero, idol, symbol, whatever. <laughs> he liked that. Know what the hell I'm doing? That was something. I'm gonna keep that for my review, but that was something that I want to talk about. Compound They are giving compound V to a baby? Oh! 
Really? All of them? I mean Starlight. Please tell her. We are beginning to be really good at lying. That's really interesting. The evolution of Yui and the evolution of. What? Oh! Ah. Mm. Son, I'm London's son. I see you. I know you're watching me. Creepy! It must be hard feeling so alone, but you cannot give a speech like that. Don't do what I think that you're gonna do. She's gonna feed him with her milk. Don't do that, please. Don't do that, please. Is she really dead? Can she have that superpower of being invisible? Take the knife off, please. Said it! I thought about that because of the fact that a train was trying to kill her and she did not feel anything. Don't be so surprised. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I want to talk about a lot of things, so I'm sorry, but it's gonna be a long review. I think that it's gonna be a long review, and that's why I think I'm not gonna watch another episode today. I don't have enough time. First one, the simple one that thing about the baby. I'm not sure that they are creating superhero by giving that steroid, that compound V directly to baby. I'm not sure of that. I mean for me, like Starlight, she's the right example that she was not created like... You're not gonna create random superheroes in hospitals in all over the country just like that and you're just gonna use some of them. No, they can't create like random babies like that with superpowers. For me, that can't be right. They are not creating all of them. Maybe they are creating some of them, but I'm still not sure of that. Maybe that was just for that baby. They were just feeding that baby. And was it, I mean, the manager's son or not? Because the fact that he has this power, you know, the laser eyes, for me, can it be possible that it was Amlander's son? Amlander and the manager made a baby together? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Second thing. Amlander was really jealous of the baby because the baby was taking his milk. <laughs> it was gross. That scene was gross, was disgusting, let's say it. And Homelander has really big mommy issues and she's trying to manipulate him with that milk thing. Oh, 
It reminds me of mother's milk. No, 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 he's not taking that milk. <laughs> but she's trying to manipulate him with that milk thing. And we saw that also during the first episode, she was manipulating him. So she's trying to control him, you know, to manipulate him for doing what she wants, for doing what Vought and the 82 and this entity want, or this person want. I don't know, but she's really trying to manipulate and control him. We know that he was creepy, but creepy, 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 creepy. Now, <laughs> really, no questions there. Uh, yuck. Okay, another thing for me, the evolutions of Starlight and Yui are really, really, really interesting. And during this episode, they were really, really, really interesting. Because for me, Starlight proved during this episode that she was forced to accept some of the rules and some of the steps, you know, to be involved into that group, to be involved into the Seven. But during this episode, we have many things to say that no, in fact, she doesn't accept it, in fact, she is against it. I'm not speaking only about her speech at the end, but also the fact that she was with her older outfit, the fact that she was not okay with what was saying this convention, you know, all of the things about the religion and all of that. And finally, that speech at the end, when she's telling that, she suffered that during the first episode. And you know, during the four first episodes, she was accepting the rules. She was forced to accept the rules. Like, she didn't say anything about what Deep did to her. She was going on missions like it was planned on camera. She was changing her outfit. She was really forced to accept those rules but she was accepting them at the end and that's why I thought that her evolution was interesting because it was her taking all of the steps to be finally involved into the group but in fact during this episode she is saying finally no to all of these rules to all of the rules that she accepted during the four first episodes like she's saying that she was raped by a man she's not saying that it was deep but she's saying it she's saying no to what she's told to do she's in an old outfit she's telling the truth at the end, she's telling that she doesn't want to follow the rules, that she doesn't want to be told what she had to do, that she doesn't believe in the thing that they want her to tell to people and that she's not okay anymore to pretend to be someone that she's not. So for me, this episode is really interesting for her, for her evolution, because I thought that she was taking all of the steps to be involved into the Seven, into the group, and in fact, she was taking them, but no, at the end, she refused. She's back at the beginning. And Yui, on the contrary, is taking really all the steps to be involved into the group, into the Mallory's group, into Butcher, Mother's Milk and Frenchy group. Because it was the same for him, you know, during the four first episodes, he was taking the steps to be involved into the group. I mean, he killed someone, he lied to his dad, he had anger issues, he was involved into all of the bad things that they have done and during this episode is accepting again all of what they are doing, all of the bad things that they can do and is going deeper in it, you know, is threatening Ezekiel, is blackmailing Ezekiel, is lying to Homelander, is lying to Starlight, is continuing to go into that when Starlight, she's going back to where she was, what she is what she was at the beginning. Yui, no, is going deeper into that. So yes, I thought that their evolutions were gonna be to go further on those group, you know, the group of the Seven and the group against the Seven. And in fact, no, 
Starlight is saying stop, you know, she's stopping her evolution to be involved into that group. She's saying that she's refusing the rules of this group of the seven and she's going back. But Yui is continuing in this path, you know, is continuing to accept all of what they are asking him to do and is going further, you know, is blackmailing, is threatening, is lying, is ready is ready to, to go further into that and that's why I found their evolutions really interesting. I thought that it was gonna be interesting because of them evolving like that into that path uh, inside him against and it's even more interesting if you are thinking of it like she's inside, is outside, is against but she's refusing the rules and is continuing to accept the rules. Do you understand what I mean? It's really interesting. I don't know, maybe I'm going too far with that, with analyze the show like that, but for me, it meant that this episode meant that to show us the difference between them. I really watched the episode with that analyzed into my head, the fact that they are evolving in parallel, but at the end, they are choosing to evolve in a different way, you know. They are not evolving in the same way, not just because she's in and he is against, but also because she's choosing to refuse and is choosing to continue and to accept. That's interesting. And of course we have this thing about the Asian girl, you know, the fact that Frenchie saved her by releasing her and at the end she's saving him and she's not really dead, but I, uh, I had a feeling about that, about her not being dead, because yes, Adrian, he was really trained to kill her and she didn't feel anything. No, she had to be invisible also. But I'm still wondering why everybody wants to kill her. Because she was just kept into that cage and the dealers were giving drugs, were giving the compound V to her, so why? they want to kill her because they saw that Adrian took that drug or it's more than just that Butcher, what he did during this episode that was not necessary because really you just destroy that grave the only thing that I'm choosing to remember about all of that storyline is the fact that Becca is not dead or at least we are not sure that she's really dead, she's missing and they saw that she's dead, that she was killed or that she killed herself. I'm wondering about the reason why her sister thinks that maybe she killed herself. It means that there is a reason for why maybe she killed herself. I don't know, I'm wondering about that. It was really a great episode. I think that since the beginning of this season, since the episode one, that's probably my second favorite episode. I mean, I loved also the episode four because it was something, I mean, a lot of things happened during it and a lot of good scenes, you know, even if it was hard scenes, it was also good scenes and I really loved it. But I think that I preferred this one because of all of what it meant. If you really think about all of the storylines, all of what they are choosing to do, I mean all of them, all of the characters, what Omlander is choosing to do, what Starlight is choosing to do, what Yui is choosing to do, what Butcher is choosing to do, you know, all of their choices are interesting to analyze because they are all meaning something. And that's why maybe I really loved, 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 loved this episode because it's giving me a lot to think about, it's giving me a lot of information about each character, I mean, their backgrounds, their stories, what they are doing now, but also what can they do next, and all of that. All of what can be their evolutions. Oh, and we have also Deep. I think that during the next episode, Vought is not gonna be happy with what Deep did, because really, you just did something really wrong, like you kidnapped a dolphin to that ocean land something, and you were the face of the promotion campaign of it 
I mean they are gonna lose a lot of money because of you and nobody is gonna believe in you now uh, I don't know, we'll see about that and maybe also you know the child that may had during this episode we saw that she's going back to see her girlfriend Elena and we saw that she was an alcoholic before and she's still alcoholic right now she's really fighting with what she did with that plane really all of this episode was interesting all of their choices were interesting all of the storylines were interesting for each character this episode was really about them you know I mean of course there is each storyline we are moving on each storyline and of course there was also the religion which was the theme of this episode but for me this episode was really about the characters and about each one of them and about the evolutions of each one of them that were really like important for each one of them because the choices that they made during this episode they're gonna follow them during the next of the season for me so yes i really loved 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 this episode tell me tell me what did you think about it during the first time that you watched it if you were like me if you really thought about all of what it meant for each character Maybe I'm going too far and tell me if I'm going too far to analyze that show and these characters, maybe. But for me, it's really like that. Wow, wow, wow. I have a lot to think about now. And no, I'm not gonna watch another episode right now because really I don't have enough time. Maybe it's better because right now I really want to think more about everything that happened during this episode and all of what it meant for each character that's gonna have a big impact even a train a train killed pop claw at the beginning of this episode come on even that i'm gonna say it again each choices made during this episode are gonna be important for each character i can feel it i can see it and i want to analyze that more and I'm gonna cut the camera and I'm gonna still think about it and analyze all of that more okay so it's all for the boys for today for you and for me so it's all for me for now so bye for now bye wait a minute wait a minute doc uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine Ray.